Welcome back to Docs Tools. I'm Tom, and welcome back to Project Egress. All right, so there's that one. Okay, and then today we did we did two parts today. Uh, we did this little yoke, which is this little guy right here. Okay, and then we also did this little knobski, uh, this little spinner here. So let's uh, put it together so you guys can kind of get an idea of. Um, the uh, the function here. Let's see. I think I got this going the right way. Yeah, that goes through there. And then there's you can't see it, but there's a this little pin right here. I'm going to fake it with this pin here that in, engages those little slots there. So we're going to poke that through, and there she goes. And then boom. So that locks that, and then you can retract that, put it up in there, and then you can go all the way up, and it goes there. Then all that business. Put the uh, the spinner knob on there. Shoop. So we're looking pretty good, huh? So this tool, this particular tool here, we're <clears throat> we're grinding a custom tool f to fit this profile. Now this is a 10x uh, magnification, and um, what we're doing. Let's see. You can see it in this. So it's this handle here. And this handle rotates when this when this whole lever tilts up, and it, it's fluted. You can't really see it that well in this in this particular picture here. This one you can see it a little bit better here. Okay, um, you can see the flutes there. Okay, so this tool is actually going to cut those flutes. Now what's left here to do? I you know I ground this, and the the things to, for you guys to come away from is is I did a little bit of layout on this tool bit here and you can see some of the scribe lines and what I wanted to do was capture this flat width here which is 153. So in SolidWorks I can dimension to what's called a virtual sharp which is the intersection of that line and that line, right? Uh, even though it's been radius, okay? Um, so I start with that number and then I add the radius afterwards, which is what we're going to go do now on the uh, on the little lapping machine. So we're just going to lap a little corner radius on that. Um, yeah, I'm not super fussy about it. I'm just going to break that corner a little bit just so it's not dead sharp. But uh, we'll go see uh, uh, how we do that. Change the, uh, I'm going to change the wheel here. This is a pretty coarse one, uh, 360 grit, which uh, it's a little coarse for doing small radii. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, that's a 600 grit. That's what we're going to use in this case. It, and the idea is, uh, and these are diamond, um, the idea is that it cuts slow enough that uh, you, don't get, uh, you don't get ahead of yourself uh, too quickly. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is just kind of clean this a little bit. And you can see this thing turns slow. It doesn't really make any heat when it's uh, it's uh, it's spinning. Clean that. WD-40 works good for cleaning these too. So, all right. See if I can uh, get the shot in a little closer so you guys can see this process. Um, I think I'm going to lock the table here so it doesn't move while I do this. Put a little liquid love on there. So I got my little loop over here, and that's how I'm going to uh, evaluate the uh, what I've done. So I'm just going. About 99% of the flat to flat there. So I should check that. It actually looks. All right, let me check it. Uh, it's a little big, more like 30. All right, well, it's going to be 30. <laughs> Let's do the other one. Probably should should have put the 1200 on there. 
Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm okay with that. It's it's kind of a minor detail, bottom of a groove in a plastic spinner handle, so I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over that. All right. Well, there you go. There's how to screw up a radius. So the other part of this is how we're gonna hold this tool, and I have a. It's basically a fly cutter head that's at 90 degrees, so that bit's, well, it's not going in that way, it's going to go in that way, okay? So that puts that edge on center, and uh, then we'll just index the part and slap that, uh, slap that little flute in there, okay, with our, our little tool. So we're using our, our little 45 um, to radius bit uh, that we ground the other day uh, to mill the points of this hex off and provide a gripping surface for this knob. Um, and I'm just indexing it with a hex collar block here. And this is Delrin, so cuts, uh, cuts uh, pretty mellow. And um, let's do one for you guys so you can see. I'm already at the correct depth. Um, but we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll get it from another angle too so you can kind of see what's going on. But this is an example of a form tool. I got to pay attention because it gets really close to the, uh, the collet block. I don't want to have to regrind a tool bit. <laughs> this out so you guys can kind of see, oops, so you can kind of see what's going on there. So we're taking out the points and making a cool, super cool knob. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see, I got that one, I need that one right there.
Hard to see that bright white. for that.